Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Pelipper, one of the Pokemon I never really wanted to use because of its design, but we're going to go ahead and test it out because Wing Attack did get a buff as far as energy gain is concerned. And it is a decent Pokemon, let's be realistic here. So this team was recommended to me by one of my subscribers, shout out to you. So Pelipper lead and then whatever in the back, you got uh, Steelix and then Galarian and Rapidash. It doesn't matter which order you do have them, depends. You can try it out and see what you're gonna pull up front. And it worked out perfect. Now the Galarian and Rapidash is gonna have high horsepower and it does come in handy. Megahorn is great and all, but uh, I guess you could even go with Psychic, but personally high horsepower is what you want in case you get locked up against one of those steel types. All right, so let's talk about the Pelipper here. Well, I mean, we already all know about it gonna have hurricane weather ball and then of course wing attack for that high energy gain the steelix is going to have thunder fang which i had for whatever reason had it already on there and i kind of th thought to myself you know let's just go ahead and use that and by the way i felt like that lorantis could have pulled off some sort of a clutch win there but hey i'll take that win anyways but the steelix with psychic fang and earthquake and then the thunder fang it worked out great because we were encountering a lot of water types yesterday so i figured let's just go ahead and do that and it's, it worked out great, right? So we're up against a Victini here. Of course, this is going to be a great matchup. They are going to be shielding this up, retreating with energy right at the last second and bringing in the for alligator. We're going to go ahead and farm up to Hurricane and throw this. We might as well. Let's see if we can get two shields from them. And they're going to be letting it go. We swap into our Rapidash to take them out with one Fairy win. And they're bringing in Lucario. Massive resistance to fighting, but if they do hit me with Shadow Ball, that's a wrap, but we're going down here. And then, of course, they can bait us big time with Power Up Punch. So they shield up the first high horsepower, unfortunately, and things are getting a little bit nervous. I know that the Victini's got a lot of energy over there, although it did have confusion, so it wasn't really gaining too much. But they still definitely have something ready to go. Hitting me with the Shadow Ball, shielding it up, and going for the high horsepower here to take out the Lucario. And that Victini is over. I mean, we got a Steelix. Even if they hit me with uh, you know, the signature move, it's, it's not going to be enough. And... We're going to be able to Thunder Fang down and take the win with the Steelix. All right, moving it on to the next one, leading with Pelipper the entire time. If you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Really appreciate that. Met with a Hypno. Now, you already know it is going to have Thunder Punch, so we're going to have to shield up this first one because we're flying in water. Massively weak to electric. Building up to two and a half Weather Balls. Going for the first one. Building up to the next one, so we got two ready to go, but unfortunately they're going to be able to get to a charge move, and we've already used a shield, and I don't really feel like using another one. It's just not going to be within my best interest. So we're going to go ahead and let it go down and bring in the Steelix, and at this point, I don't know what they're going to have. I don't think this is going to be Focus Blast. Uh, Fire Punch is not too worrisome. They hit me with a Thunder Punch and maybe Psychic. So at this point, we're farming them down. Steelix has got a whole lot of energy and we're gonna be looking good to go here. Going for the Thunder Fang, what did they throw into that battle? It's a Machamp, oh yeah, you better believe it. Going for another one, and I love Thunder Fangs on the Steelix, it's great. Of course, it's not gonna be Shadow, it is shiny though. Love to see that though. Bringing in the Galarian Rapidash, and they're gonna be going for a Cross Chop, we call it. They've got no more shields, they got a Dugong in the back. Now, I could've went for a High Horsepower here, it would've done a lot of damage, but I already felt comfortable with the Steelix in the back. I'm thinking, eh, we're perfectly fine. Let's just go ahead and have a little fun here. Throw these body slams on this Dugong. We still have a shield left. And we've got Thunderfang. Yeah, we're, we're perfectly okay here. Going for the Icy Wind. Taking us out. Bringing in the Steelix. And going for the Thunderfangs. Not going to hit any bubbles. And it's taking the win for us yet again at the end. So, yeah, I mean, this team did great. Give it a shot. Again, shout out to the, the subscriber who suggested it. It was working great. All right, so this is obviously amazing right here. So up against Nolola Marowak, we're super effective with our water. Although Pelipper, it can't really take a hit. It's not really squishy, but it, it's not it's not too uh, tanky either. So they're going to be bringing in a Vigoroth, which uh, I was kind of contemplating what the heck should I do here? Because I know the Body Slam spams are going to be coming in fast. When I do bring in the Rapidash, obviously we do not want to bring in our Steelix because we're just going to be getting countered down into Oblivion. So we bring in the Rapidash, let this first Body Slam go, and we can't even take two. I mean, that is insane how much... Well, it's not even how much, it's just the fact that Rapidash can't take a hit, unfortunately, but it is very spammy. And this is why I'm still using it, because it is great here. Especially with this new High Horsepower, I'm having a blast. Alright, so we're going to go for a Body Slam here. What did they throw into the fight? What was that, a Toga Kiss? We're going to be able to get to another one. So yeah, High Horsepower is not an option at this point. And we're barely getting that off. We're, look at all that damage. I mean, so there you go. Bringing in the Steelix to 
Thunderfang them down while we gain our energy here. And they're not able to get to the Bulldoze. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Psychic Fangs. The Steelix yet again pulling the win for us. Well, not quite. The Pelipper is going to be able to do that here. We're lowering the defense. Now we're going to go for the Wither Ball, which is going to be doing extra damage since we did do that. And we take the win. Let's go here. All right. So this was the first set that I did use this. The loss that I did get was um, a little bit annoying. Let's just put it that way. All right, so you know how it goes in the beginning of the season. It's not like anything to brag here. We're just having a little fun. Although, again, I will say people are getting progressively better as each season does go on. So you got to give them credit. It's not like we're battling people who don't know what they're doing. We're all within the same kind of rank right now, right? All right. So what did they do? Swap into a Whizcash. We had a great lead with Machamp. They farmed up energy. So we got to remember that. And again, I'm kind of contemplating what I should do here. I can't bring in Steelix, so we're going to have to call this Blizzard here. And we do great. And I think what we're going to do now is farm them down. If they get to a Mud, they're not getting to another Blizzard. It's definitely a Mud Bomb. And we're going to be coming out of this with a whole lot of energy. So we're going to be able to win that alignment. We did use a Shield, but that's perfectly fine. We still have the Rapid Ash to go up against the Machamp here, which is going to be great. Going for the Weather Ball, and they're bringing in that Machamp. They really want to hit me with a Rock Slide. But at this point, I'm thinking... I'm not going to shield up, and I think they actually try to bait me here with a cross chop. And yes, this is the one. <laughs> that way, would be happy here. So now we're going to go ahead and swap into our Rapid Ash to farm them down to kind of preserve that Pelipper for the... There you go, and a Marowak in the back. Fire type. Going to go for high horsepower. I would suspect they're going to shield this up. Nope, they let it go. Okay, there you go. Galarian Rapid Ash. Another reason why it is just amazing right now. Psychic would have done a decent amount, but nothing like that. High horsepower is very strong, and Rapid Ash has a decent attack. And that Pelipper taking the win for us. Moving it on to our next opponent. What are we going to see here? A Dugong. This is not good whatsoever. So let's see what we're going to do. Swap into our Rapid Ash. And they're bringing in a Toxapex. All right. At least we have high host power. How much does this do to Toxapex? Great. But look at how much the Poison Jabs have done already. They're going to be able to farm us down here. But we're going to be getting to a Body Slam. Let's see if they, they do shield this up. It's another high horse power. You better shield it up. All right. So Toxapex is absolutely destroying our Galarian Fairy type. Rapid Ash here hitting me with the Brine. Now, what do we want to do? Bring in the Steelix. We do have Thunderfang. The Brine's not going to be doing too much. I, okay. So I bring this in here. And this is a bit of an overkill. Uh, you know, Weather Ball wouldn't have been enough. So it's better to just. Oh, we get a shield from them too. Wow. Okay. So they're shieldless at this point. We're going to let this go. Sludge Wave. No more health. Swapping into our Steelix. We got two shields left. We're going to have to put all our hope into this here. Dugong does something interesting here. I don't know what's going on. I don't, maybe they just don't have it. But they keep hitting me with Aqua Jet. So they didn't lower my attack so far. So this is looking like we could potentially win this. Still holding on to two shields here. All right. Thunder Fang. We could maybe farm them down. All right. We're shielding this one up because we want to maintain our health. At this point, we're getting a little bit low. And we're able to farm them down. This is getting crazy. Toxapex is going to get farmed down too. What you got in the back there? I do believe it's a Typhlosion, if I remember correctly. And there it is. Now, I knew they were going to try to catch. I had my fingers smashed on the Earthquake, but they just threw a little too soon. So that's another reason why you shouldn't be doing that. But we're able to Thunder Fang them before they, we even see them. And then hit the Earthquake on the Typhlosion. And yet again, Steelix taking the damn win for us at the end. In the Remix Cup, onto the next battle. Met with a Gobat here. Two Flyers going crazy. He's swapping into a Snorlax. So we're going to stay here. I think we're going to let this Body Slam go as well. And it's going to do quite a bit from that Shadow. Going for the Hurricane. Now we just need to get the alignment with the Crobat. If we can let this go. Okay, great. Great. We're going to be able to farm them down here. And that, I'm not going to say it's a wrap, but we're going to be looking good. When that Gobat goes up against the Steelix, it's not going to be able to do anything. Shadow Ball, sure. But we got Thunder Fang and Psychic Fang. That's not going to be looking good for that Poison type Flyer. All right, so obviously Steelix here. Okay, good, good, good. They're farming up even more energy and bringing in a Hitmonchan. So we're going to go ahead and go for a super effective Psychic Fangs, lowering their defense. We got the Rapid Ash in the back. Can we get to a Body Slam before they even get to a Charge move? We do. And will this be enough to take out the Hitmonchan? It is. Down goes the Shadow. <laughs> the Galarian Rapid Ash. We're not shielding it up. And watch what happens here. It said, you know what, Steelix? You go ahead and take a break. I'll... I'll take over for now and I'll go ahead and take this victory and it takes the win with the body slam and surviving the poison fang with a couple of those quick moves as well next battle met with a polyrath we completely wall this thing in every way unless they do have ice punch it's going to be doing something there they swap into a shadow fortress it took me a second to compute which one I should go into obviously not rapid ash Steelix is obvious option. So we're bringing it in here. Hopefully they do not have earthquake because if it does that's going to be about a wrap for us and it's not looking good 
but they have Mirror Shot and Sand Tomb. Rock Tomb. Yeah, Rock Tomb and Mirror Shot. So we're... There's really nothing for us to worry about here. We're going to be able to Psychic Fangs down. It's going to be a little bit close here, but it doesn't really matter as long as we win this matchup and come out of this with energy and able to hit the Psychic Fangs. Might be able to even get to another one here. Let's see what happens. Polyrath. Oh yeah, we're getting to another one. Easy money. This is actually going to be obviously doing more since we just lowered their defense. So a shield. Beautiful. So we got a shield from them, but they do have a decent amount of energy. Shadow Polyrath. Yes, it is going to be good for the Pelipper, but look at the skull. What is that? Resisted or not? Give me a break. And they have a Mandibuzz in the back. This is perfect. We're going to go straight for the Hurricane here, doing some good damage. Look at that tankiness on that thing and swapping into our Rapidash. And this is a good situation. We kind of need to look out for their Dark Moves because that is going to be doing a decent amount. Even though we are Fairy, we are part Psychic and Rapidash still can't take a hit. So we're getting off that Body Slam, getting to another one with that Fairy Wind. This thing is super spammy and it's just putting in that work here. So at this point, we're going to be able to farm down. I think we're going to want to let this go. We need to hold on to our shield. Hitting me with a foul play. Barely surviving. Polyrath comes in. Going for the body slam. Steelix still has a little bit of health left. Or should I say the Pelipper. And Pelipper finally taking the win at the end. It's not like it hasn't been doing anything. It's in the lead. So it's not necessarily going to be closing all the time. So yeah, it's amazing. That's I already knew it was. I just can't stand the design. It's not that bad. It's okay. All right, next battle. Okay, yeah, this is that steel and electric type that um, causes me a little bit of trouble here. So let's see what we got going on. We get a shield right off the bat, which was great, fantastic. And I'm not going to shield up anything. I'm going to bring in my Steelix to handle this thing here. But what they do is go for a Fell Stinger. So that's great, raising that attack. But look how much damage they've done already with their quick move because it is so effective. They go for a wild charge to just get it over with. And then they're going to be lowering their stats, bringing in the Steelix and they're swapping into a Wiggly Tough. And we do not have Dragon Tail. This is another reason why not having it is going to be great here because you're going to be able to do so much damage with whatever quick move you're going to be using. That's simply not that. Don't get it wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Dragon Tail is great, right? So they do have a Spilus in the back. So I immediately swap knowing they're still locked here. And I'm thinking, crap, I'm going to win this. This was a horrible lead. And I'm still going to be able to pull this off. Let's go. I think calling that first... Uh, charge move was the thing right there not shielding up that fill stinger so going for the high horsepower and we're going to be able to one shot that steel and electric type and taking the win with two shields and a bad lead let's go next one another horrible lead up against stun fisk here so we're going to go ahead and swap into our rapid ash which is not a great counter it's something and they're bringing in a charizard with wing attack now remember wing attack is buffed so it's going to be gaining energy a little bit faster it's not doing more damage but it is going to be gaining energy at a decent rate here, right? So we're going to let this go, calling the Dragon Claw, and that's exactly what it is. Let's go, getting to another Body Slam. This is going to be doing a decent amount of damage here. They're shielding it up. That actually would have just KO'd. <laughs> yeah, simple as that. They do hit me with Blast Burn. They're like, I'm getting sick of this crap. So they hit me with the Blast Burn. They are shieldless. I bring in the Steelix to farm them down before they can get to another one. There is no way that was happening. Two shields and they're bringing in a Pelipper, folks. This is looking just too good with the Thunder Fang. Do you see why I'm using it now? And it goes so well with the gold on it too, right? Love to see it. Okay, so we are going to let this go. That's no problem at all. Farming them all the way down. So holding on to two shields. They're bringing in that Stun Fist. So this is the reason why we did hold on to our shields here is because they're going to be able to spam us here and we need to get to that Earthquake. And guess what? Earthquake's still not going to be enough. If you're thinking Psychic Fangs, then Earthquake. That's just a waste of time. We don't have all that... Uh, Time to build up that energy, as simple as that. Earthquake, not enough, swapping into Pelipper. Resisted on the quick move, but getting to the Weather Ball on a CMP. You better believe it, they were at a charge move, but we're hitting it first and taking that win. That was a close one here. And then finishing off that last Pokemon with one hit. Moving it on to our next opponent, what are we going to see here? A Frostlass. This is actually not a good lead whatsoever. Because of the Rapid Ashes, Body Slam's not very effective. Steelix is taking a decent amount of damage from Avalanche. And then the Pelipper, as you can see, just taking an absolute massive amount of damage from the avalanche here because again it's just it's not really the tankiest thing around here going for another weather ball just putting in that work here and i do swap right at the end here which i don't re really recommend you do because that was like another what one quick move with the farm and now we're locked in here so they can hard counter us and we're just stuck there's nothing we can do and they're still getting to another charge move so it's not like i pulled off anything sort of slick or anything like that okay so down they go half health on this what's happening here all right, they're bringing in their own Pelipper. This is interesting. Thunderfang's doing a whole lot of damage. And now my hope is starting to come back. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are we going to be able to pull this one off? Let's go ahead and shield this up. What's, what's in the bag? 
Show me what you got back there. It is going to be their own Steelix. So we're going to build up to Earthquake, and this is absolutely obviously not one. It's going to be a crunch and very close, but my Steelix is holding it down and surviving that here. And we're going to get to the Earthquake. Do they shield it? They let it go. And at this point, I already knew it was pretty much a wrap here. So we're going to bring in the Rapid Ash and get to the Body Slam, which is going to be enough to take them out. Even though it is a steel tank, it's still going to do a decent amount of damage here because Rapid Ash's attack is kind of ridiculous here. And their health is so low. Going for that Body Slam, taking them out. We're shieldless. Pulling this around here, getting to another Body Slam. And you already know what it's going to be here. All right, so since the Psychic Fangs did lower our stats, we're going to go ahead and just bring in the Pelipper really quick. That's okay if they got one quick move worth of energy because we're going to be able to outpace them to the Body Slam and take the win with the Rapid Ash. Let's go, folks. I'm telling you, try this team out. It was doing great. Again, you can't just hop into the seat of a Formula One car and start driving it and be a pro. you got to practice with it, so make sure you do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.